Hi guys, welcome back to Kitchen War Gamers and welcome back to my kitchen. So in this video um, is going to be the last uh, one about my Canadian Army because they're all finished now. Um, sorry, this last few videos have been about them, um, but uh, here they are all finished now and uh, just to show you what they can use in battle. Okay, so let's pan out. And there they are. So if you're making these up guys, um, don't forget this is just two box sets um, and obviously uh, some parries in the back is uh, extra, um, but this is the two box sets. So basically um, what I've done is all the same, um, but as you saw in the last battle report, I can move them about, make them uh, a bit bigger units or uh, a bit smaller. Um, so I've got uh, some variations uh, in them. So the two platoons then, um, like I say, both the same. Uh, they've got a commander, anti-tank tier team, uh, light mortar team, and then the units are all eight men uh, with a sergeant with an SMG and a Bren gun. And as you can see as well, um, what I've decided to do uh, was make them the Canadian Scottish Regiment that um, was formed and sent over to Britain in 1944, ready for the invasion of uh, D-Day. And uh, they basically spent uh, their career fighting in Northwest um, Europe, um, involved in a lot of campaigns. And um, after the war in 1945, 46, I believe, uh, they were disbanded when the war was over. Um, but yeah, so this is my Canadian um, Scottish Regiment, part of the 3rd um, Division. And at the back there, uh, just as a, a bit of backup, uh, they've got um, a unit of um, Green Devils, as the uh, Canadian uh, paratroop units were called. So that's them. I have got, um, as you've seen in another video, I've got more uh, paratroopers. And I will be um, painting them up for uh, the Canadian Army so I can either have an airborne unit or the infantry. Um, but yeah. Also, vehicles that they can use. Uh, obviously, they've got the Shermans and a Firefly. Now, I found this Firefly on uh, eBay. I bought it, had a broken barrel. So, I fixed that by putting um, a little tube that goes in the end of uh, your paintbrushes. If you can see that, okay, just there to attach the barrel again. Uh, I did try without it, uh, but it just wouldn't stick or look right. It went off to um, put in one way that the turret wasn't pointing. So, uh, yeah, that sorted that out. So they got a Firefly. Now, there's the Churchill. Now, I do believe the turret setup I have here um, is not on their list. Um, it's the one with the, um, the heavy howitzer or heavy uh, mortar launcher. Um, so I'll have to get that changed up. Um, I have got another Churchill waiting to be built uh, for the North uh, African campaign. So what I'll do is uh, make the turret up for that for this one and give this turret to that one. Um, so that'll sort that out. Um, all my personnel carriers. And if I wanted to, some more American vehicles. The M10 uh, Wolverine, the Hellcat, and the Greyhound as well as a, a command vehicle. So if you uh, ever wanted to do a project like this, guys, um, you know, like I said, uh, I had all the vehicles from the Americans, which they can use, and basically just built the troops. And um, yeah, so that's the Canadians all ready to go for the battlefield. Um, when we get back together, uh, we'll get these in action in a bit of bigger games, um, which you'll know will be there this Monday, so only a few days to go, and um, you'll be able to see us all back in action again. So, just want to say thanks a lot to um, all my new subscribers and to anybody that's subscribed. Um, thank you very much for doing that. And if you could give a like to my videos, that would be fantastic as well. Um, so... Next time you see the Canadians, they'll be in a battle with two players, not just me talking to myself and arguing with myself as well, which uh, I tend to do. <laughs> okay, so thanks a lot, guys. Um, see you in the next one. And in the meantime, remember to make it, paint it, and play it. See you again soon, guys. Bye. 
Hi guys, sorry, just before I go, uh, I meant, uh, forgot to mention uh, a few other things. Uh, basically, um, before I got this Canadian box set, I bought the original uh, British um, infantry box set um, with the old where you have to attach the weapons to the arms. Um, basically, what I'm going to do with them is use them to make uh, gun crews. Um, one for this um, American uh, anti-tank gun and uh, the rest... Um, some mortar crews. So if you want to take some medium or heavy mortars, I'll have the crews ready. And also I have to apologize um, when I said the Green Devils for the uh, Canadian paratroopers. They're actually made up of the uh, Devils Brigade, uh, which was a brigade of um, paratroopers that uh, were American and Canadian um, origin and uh, they were put into their paratroop units. About half of the, um, the paras really were made up of these. Um, so with that, that gives them tough fighters for one point each. Um, so that's something to bear in mind if you're putting them together. And also the uh, old box set of British troops, <coughs> excuse me, because I got some um, Piat's uh, spare, <coughs> What I'm going to do is make um, an anti-tank team with um, four Piats, four loaders and a commander. And you can only have one of them uh, for your army. So they're going to be added on later. But won't do for video for them. Uh, you'll see them in game because um, I think I've done enough on this uh, Canadian uh, box set and army. So once again, thanks very much for watching and see you again soon, guys. And in the meantime, remember to make it, paint it and play it. See you soon. Bye.